Hey everyone, how you doing? This is Phil. It's been a long time since I did a video, but uh, I've got a little bit of news and then um, some stuff we're going to cover here with uh, what you're looking at on our uh, desktop um, app for our scoring system. So the first bit of news is that Ball Bowler is no longer in business and producing lanes. COVID was very rough on us. We did manage to build some lanes and get them out the door and get them installed. But since that time, uh, as you're all aware, there's been a lot of inflation with materials. And um, while you're maybe not aware of it, uh, there's still some supply issues out there. It has affected us. Um, it's not really being talked about in the news, but it is still, still difficult to get things. And uh, at this time, we decided just not to try and continue building lanes and trying to sell them. We do have a patent on the lanes, so if you are interested in either acquiring the patent, licensing, or looking to form some sort of partnership where we might be able to use the lanes in some of your establishments, we are more than willing to talk to you about that. So please get in touch with us. Uh, that is definitely an option we will look at and consider going forward. Uh, what you're looking at here, though, is our scoring system. This is the desk app for it. So most of you have not seen this before. Uh, and the lanes that we installed in Omaha, they do have this system there. But it was kind of set up for smaller installations, you know, six, eight lanes. But uh, we are now expanding it and making it a lot more user friendly for larger installations. Uh, that's the reason over here that you see all these gray boxes. We have this one currently configured for 24 lanes. Uh, the blue bar at the top is for uh, lane one, which I have here in my basement. And uh, that's the reason it's blue is because it's online. Uh, once we would hook other lanes up to uh, the scoring system, they would turn blue and go online and uh, you would definitely see that. So that color bar also serves other purposes uh, when the scoring system is in use for your desk people. It's color coordinated to show uh, when a lane is in use, uh, when a session is about to expire, and when a session has ended. Uh, it's all colors. Um, yellow is for the Session's about to end, red is it's closed, green is when we're running. I'm going to show you all that here in a minute. Off on the left side of the screen, the important part is this part right here. This is our uh, lane configuration windows. So we have a couple different ways to do things. If you have a small center, as you can see here, I have eight lanes worth of options right here to go for, just a quick scroll. But in a larger center, we've included some hot buttons in the system. For opening a lane, I'm going to hit O. And down here, as you can see, we have a window pop up. I'm going to enter the lane one in, hit enter, and this is going to open up our window to configure the lane for use. So I'm just configuring an open play session right now. We're doing it in time. Uh, I have the default settings for time sessions in here right now, but it's easily configurable if you do game sessions. Uh, we have a couple different options for setting up the window here as far as uh, your session. So we have a 30 minute timetable. What this will do is if you have that uh, turned on, you can go and hit the drop down and you'll basically be able to just pick a time that the lane turns off. If you do not have that, you can just manually enter in time. Or the other option is if you want to just do an hour session, just hit 60 minutes. Your number of bowlers will say three. As you saw, we had these pop up over here. We have it set up right now so that uh, if you do not enter a name in the boxes, I'm just going to enter mine for right now. Uh, we're going to auto assign names and right now we have it set to uh, numbers. You can also set it to letters if you want to do that. As far as the game mode, normal is your standard 10 pin scoring uh, with 10 frames, but we do have options for 8 pin, 9 pin, no tap. World Bowling Tour scoring and 369 mode, which uh, some places call it Lucky Strike. So depending on where you are and what, how you call it, uh, we just call it 369 in here. There are ways to turn off various video animations. If you have a group coming in that maybe they're not so good and you feel it might be bad if they keep missing and then the, the missed video turns on all the time, you can definitely turn that off. Same thing with strikes and spares. Uh, at this point in time, we're all configured here. Uh, we have prepaid set. So what that is is that if you have a center where, uh, say it's a family fun center where they might buy a, uh, buy a ticket to use on different uh, amusements within the center, they're not necessarily going to walk up and pay for bowling on its own, then uh, you could have the set for prepaid. Your desk person would just go in, configure the screen as you see it here, and then because everything is prepaid set, it would just open the lane when they hit open. 
they would not have to go in and cancel all the um, sales information that would be entered as when trying to open a lane. So anyway, I'm going to open the lane here now. You're going to see it's opening, and there it is. So a couple different things once the lane is open. If I wanted to extend the session, you simply go to the lane that you want to extend, hit extend. It brings the window up. I'm going to, uh, whoops, I have the 30 minutes engaged. I don't want to do that. I'm going to add a 30 minutes here and hit extend. And you're going to see the timer update. I'm going to kind of focus in on that. And as you see it updated to an hour and 30 minutes. There's also a, what we call a quick reserve. So say you have a very busy center, you have a line of people waiting to come in, they've arrived early for a reservation, you can actually go in, preload all their names and information in. Upon the session that is in use now closing, you could hit that quick reserve, everything gets loaded and then turns on the lane. So it just speeds things up instead of having to have people wait and then go in and uh, reload it or load all their information when they're ready to bowl. Uh, game options is just, a screen that pops up you can add a bowler we're going to add also having here remove a bowler that's coming restart the game change scores uh whatever you need to do from the desk remote access is something that's getting removed that was something that was old in our system and we're taking that out so just ignore that for right now we plan to roll the system out next year uh just so you're aware i'm showing you right now is preliminary uh work that we've been doing we've been updating it we want to make it much more user friendly it's kind of being targeted at the smaller to medium sized centers if you're looking for something that's a little more cost effective than what you may, might get from the larger manufacturers out there, uh, we're definitely aiming at that market, so please contact us. Uh, regarding pin setter button down here, that just opens up a window where I can cycle the machine first or second ball, turn the pin setter power on and off. If you have bumpers, I could raise and lower them. If you have automatic bumpers, we will have a way for you to configure the lane so that they will work automatically. If you do not, then you have the ability to just raise and lower them using these two buttons here. And then um, turn monitor on or off is the overhead monitor. We can control that from here. And then uh, if you have black lights and they're wired separately, you also have the ability to control from here. We can add things as needed. So if you're having something custom you would want to control, please let us know. That's something that can be configured in. Uh, going to our transfer button. So if you ever have to transfer a lane, lane breaks down, something's going on, lead comes in, whatever it is, uh, on the left side of the screen you can see the lanes that are active. As you can see I have lane one active. And if I was to click on that, uh, what's going to happen is I believe, I, actually I've never tried this but we're going to give it a shot. Yeah, unfortunately because I don't have any other lanes connected, it's not going to highlight. But once I click on lane one, what would go on is that all these lanes over here that are available would become highlighted. I would simply click on the lane. I want to move lane one, two. Everything shifts over automatically. Very quick and easy to do. Leagues is where you would have your information for your leagues and configure everything. Uh, obviously, we're empty here. We have no leagues. Reports is for your daily reports, whatever kind of reports you want to run, financial, lane usage, whatever. This is where you'll be doing that. If you have reports that you like to run and maybe your current scoring system doesn't include them, or you want them done a different way, gives you more detailed information, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you on that. We can definitely incorporate it uh, as we're building the system out. And then as we go to settings, I'm going to go to the general button. Uh, this is where you would configure whether your sessions, when the window opens that you start a session, is configured to start in a game or time. Auto assign the names is uh, the numbers or the letters, as I said. <coughs> And then when we're done closing the lane, what do we want to play? We want to play screensaver videos right now, but you have options to play a welcome screen slideshow. So if you want to put advertisements up there for the slideshow, this is where you would just select. You want to play that slideshow and it would show up once you close the lane. Uh, set prepaid as default. That goes along with what I said about if you're a family center where maybe people are buying a pay one price ticket, you could set this to avoid having your desk people have to override everything every time they open a lane. Lanes is just telling you status of lanes and part of our networking system here. Control box is the same thing. Uh, we call it the relay interface box. On here it's just called control box for simplicity, but it's just telling you where it is in the system and uh, making sure everything's up to date. Pricing is, uh, this area is going to be changing a little bit, but basically this is where you sell your pricing. If you do uh, charge at the desk, say you're not a family fund center charging 
all one price. This is where you can figure all the information. Automation is something that we've added. We had a request from somebody. They had people that were uh, just kind of almost finishing the session up and you know the lane would turn off on them but uh, they asked you know if I've got like a frame or two left uh, can they you do something so that they can finish the game and then the lane turn off so we've automated that for them and basically you have number of bowlers uh, how many are on the lane and then whatever number of frames you want to have that cut off start at you can configure that in here advertising is where you would load all of your slideshows and images um, for whatever you want to display up on the uh, overhead monitor when the lane turns off or uh, when you're doing your uh, advertising during bowling sessions and I'm going to explain that. So our overhead monitor has a window at the bottom as you can see here we have a scrolling uh, advertisements that is something you can go out and sell some advertising space to for your local vendors uh, or merchants and then you could uh, kind of offset your scoring system by advertising down there in addition, uh, if you do not get a strike or spare on the uh, first shot, we have a way that in the scoring system, you would be able to see an advertisement at the bottom and it would display more advertisements. And then again, once the lanes are turned off, you have the option of uh, putting up even more advertisements like you typically see, where you could have scrolling uh, advertisement telling about beer specials in the bar, food specials at the snack bar, upcoming special events. So that is all configurable in here very quickly and easily. So I'm just going back to our panel here. So I'm going to uh, just show you a little something else. So our bowlers terminal, which I have sitting right down here, is I'm gonna try and grab this, but it is uh, completely wireless as you can see. I'm just doing nothing with it. So I'm gonna just throw a ball and let you see how this all works. We'll see how this goes. And there's our scoring terminal, and as you can see, displays the pins and updates the score. So our bowlers terminal is completely wireless. The only thing it needs is a power source, which we can uh, easily plug into. If you have existing scoring, it's just simply plug it into that. If you don't, then we, that would have to be run. Um, but that is some of the features of the scoring system. Again, we're hoping to roll this out at Bowl Expo uh, next year in 2024. Uh, we plan to have a booth there and we'll be able to do live demonstrations. So if that's something you're interested in, please definitely come and see us. If you're looking for scoring uh, next year, we definitely can start to begin talking to you. We are looking for centers that would like to have the system put in. We are con continuing to build upon it. Uh, as I said, it was more designed originally for smaller centers, uh, such as what we're doing in Omaha with the mini bowling. But uh, we are definitely expanding it and making it a lot more user friendly for the larger centers too. So. Definitely get in touch with us if you have any questions or an interest in either our patent, uh, an IP to produce lanes, or the scoring system. So, hope you all have a good one.